This video was brought to you by Stoenberg, a bedroom planner, Mr. Green, Ken Power, and Marcus Biel. Yo, what's up? We are back at Ayonte Dahl, and behind me here, well, uh, behind me here we see lots of cars charging at Ionity. But the one you're looking for is this Kia EV6. This is the rear wheel drive. Actually, it doesn't have any badge or anything, but this is the rear wheel drive version. 77 kilowatt hour battery. Uh, let me just double check here. Hakapolita R3 SUV, okay, 235. Yeah, okay, so actually the same tires as I had with the all wheel drive version I tested before Christmas. But uh, we will test now to see how efficient is the rear wheel drive versus the all-wheel drive. And do, does the all-wheel drive take any penalty? So I'm just topping up now. It's Sunday morning. So I'm going to do the 120 kilometers per hour test first. We are just uh, charging, heating up the, the cabin. Uh, the plan is to drive north a little bit. I'm not sure how far, maybe Espa and then back again. That will be the 120 test. And then actually we will do, um, not only we will do the 90 test, but, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, we will also measure degradation. Look here, this car has done over 10,000 kilometers. It's a press car. So I want to just check then, do we have any noticeable degradation after 10,000 kilometers? Hmm, nice bonus. Okay, but, uh, yeah, I think that right now there's no point to charge more. We just uh, top up, maybe heat to the back a little bit. That will actually help for the test. Uh, but then I guess off we go. We are on the moon now. So today it's a bit busy. I see lots and lots of Germans here. It's like the German invasion. No, I think Germans, they have winter holiday. That's why. <laughs> well, okay, so let's hope that doesn't mess up my test. Uh, but uh, I actually have to drive at 125 kilometers per hour on the speedo to match 120 GPS speed. Whoa, whoa, whoa dude, it's drunk and sweet. So, um, no wonder why Kia people are driving so slow. <laughs> but okay, so, uh, but you can see that uh, we have nice weather, mostly dry asphalt. There are a little bit of wet uh, spot oh, whoa, okay. here and there, but uh, mostly dry and temperature is three degrees Celsius. Yeah, you see, it? another German. Yeah, the Germans are here. We're back at the starting point. 248 watt hour per kilometer. That is lower than the all-wheel drive version. Weather condition, driving condition, everything should be quite similar. So, is this an indication that uh, the rear wheel drive is more efficient? Uh, okay, well. Now we need to charge the car all the way to 100%, and then we do a combined range and degradation test. Right, we're done charging, and you know, interesting observation. When the battery was branch banking new, uh, it was also like this: state of charge BMS was 97%, and then it displays as 100%. But I guess maybe this is a way for uh, Hyundai Kia to hide degradation because eventually, they what they can do is that they can then charge slightly higher, so that maybe as the battery ages, it will actually say. 99% here, where it says 100% there. Hmm. Okay, anyway, off we go. We are on the moon now, so I have to cruise at 95 on the speedo to match a 90 GPS speed. So, oh, 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 what the heck? Steering wheel is jerking. I'm using auto steer. Yeah, it does this all the time. It is annoying. Holy mackerel. Yeah, look, 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 What the heck? I mean, the Koreans, they know how to convert 400 volt to 800 volt, but autos there, mm, they are not very good at that. All right, anyway, we need to check the weight of the car. Right, front axle, 980, ooh. Whoa! 2100 all right 120 kilos lighter than the all-wheel drive and then how is Mjusen today huh sock is hanging oh very little wind oh that's good dry road most of the time we just turned around at uh, Dahl, finishing one full lap and uh, Trip meter shows around about 182 kilometers, 
so we don't have to uh, correct for any error here yeah right so now we are down to uh, 62 percent hmm, consumption seems to be lower with the all-wheel drive uh, EV6, I was getting 180 watt hour per kilometer. Look at the temperature, also 7 degrees Celsius. Well, okay, that could be an explanation. Maybe it was colder on the other run. Hmm, yeah. I can show that, okay, I'm using 22 degrees Celsius. I've been uh, switching between 21 and 22 degrees and driver only. Uh, with 21, I felt like it was a bit too cold. So, and of course, yeah, just, yeah, bear in mind, look here. According to this one, it's 26.5 degrees in the cabin, but then how do you really measure the length of your dick, right? We have been driving for over four hours, done 370 kilometers, down to 19%. So, yes, uh, still not done yet. Uh, the traffic has picked up quite a lot, so massive traffic now. Yeah. But um, also, uh, Ionti Darl is overrun. <laughs> so actually, I might stop here instead at the supercharger. Then we can test how fast uh, this car will charge hmm, on V2. Can it take 150 kilowatts? Well, yeah, let's uh, find out. All right, we are charging at the supercharger now. So you see, this screen here tells me how many kilowatts I'm receiving from the charger. But then this screen here tells me what goes into the battery and there's a, uh, around four kilowatt difference. And I think that's the battery heater pulling. So I wonder, uh, there must be some losses, but how much losses do we really have? Oh, I'm not sure. Okay, oh, we just hit 25 degrees now. Are we gonna see 150 kilowatt now? Oh, maybe the state of charge is almost too high, but uh, let's see then. Come on, come on, come on. It should ramp up, well, or maybe it's too high. This is the problem, the cold gates. We came here with uh, cold battery and it takes forever to heat it up. But okay, so uh, according to the result now, it seems like this car is slightly more efficient than the all-wheel drive. But I think it's just due to the fact that we have 120 kilos less here. So if we put 120 kilos extra in this car and do a side-by-side -side comparison, it will probably be neck on neck, that's my guess. So it seems like the Koreans, they designed the all-wheel drive system in the eGMP platform to be efficient without taking any penalty. That's not the case, I feel like, with some of the other legacy automakers. So that's very good. Uh, so we can actually get almost 450 kilometers of range in winter, huh? This, is, this car has more range than some of the other uh, cars in summer. That's how good this one is. So, uh, and then as for the ca capacity or the degradation, it's a big mystery because uh, I actually get more energy this time than I did uh, last year when I tested the other EV6. I'm not sure why, but um, maybe Kia changes software so we have more available energy but at least you know degradation does happen regardless what you're trying to do so it's just a matter of how the car manufacturers can tune the system so that uh, for the user it doesn't seem like you you have any degradation it's more like it's consistent over uh, at least a couple of years before degradation is impossible to hide or mask out so at least that's good yeah at least now we tried so maybe next test should be to see if the charging speed also degrades over time hmm. all right but i think that's going to be it for now hope you guys enjoyed this video as always thank you for watching and talk to you later